Your Honor, defense calls Mike Ross to the stand. Objection. My client has a right to attorney-client privilege. And per Kern v. California, I'm not going to ask about things since you've been her lawyer. I'm going to ask about what happened before. Then there's nothing for me to testify to, and Kern doesn't apply. Are you kidding me? You went against her on the very case you say led to her dismissal. Is this true, Mr. Ross? Yes, Your Honor. Then swear him in. Mr. Ross, isn't it true that Ms. Wheeler wiped the floor with you on the Brick Street Athletics case? She won, yes. And what were your feelings after she wiped the floor with you? Objection, Your Honor, baiting. I'll rephrase. What were your feelings after your client lost his precious little company that you were trying to help him start? I was upset. Upset? Isn't it true that the night you lost that case, you accused me of fabricating evidence? I did. And when I denied it, what did you say exactly? Objection. The witness can't be asked to recall the exact words of a conversation that happened weeks ago. He can if he has a perfect memory. You do have a perfect memory, don't you, Mr. Ross? Isn't that what you're always bragging about? Yes, but No I... buts. You said she fabricated evidence. You said she bribed somebody. You said she cheated your client out of his company. Now, I may not have a perfect memory, but I sure as hell remember that. Am I wrong? I don't care what I said. I had no proof that anyone fabricated anything, and neither did your client the night she fired mine. No, she just knew it in her gut, exactly like you did the night you came screaming at me. No further questions, Your Honor. I said something else that night that clearly you've forgotten. Objection, we didn't ask- I said that you've lost yourself, and as far as I'm concerned, that's still true. And as far as the law is concerned, my opening statement is still true, because it doesn't matter if Miss Wheeler crossed a line or not. Faye Richardson had cause. And nothing you say is going to change that. What are you doing here? I'm here because it's time I told you the truth. Is this uh, something we're going to need whiskey for? Faye offered a deal. Win and she leaves. Refused to help and she goes after Samantha's license. Then to hell with this case. I'll call Samantha. We'll drop this thing right now. That's not an option. Never was. Because if Faye suspects us of tanking it. She won't just stay here. She'll wipe us off the map. And the cherry on top, she's putting me on the stand tomorrow. What? Harvey, Samantha told you the truth. You can't I've take the stand. I've been over it from every angle. We can't stop it. There's only one thing left for me to do. Wait, please tell me that you are not planning on lying. Mike, it's the only way. I say I can't remember. <sighs> Fail calmly before the bar, I'll just stick to my story. And then she will convince them to take your license. And then what the hell did we do this for? You did it for me. That's the end of it. I just came here to tell you that I never stopped trusting you. No. We're not going down this way. Did you hear me? I just told you, I already looked at every possibility. And what was the first thing you taught me to do when someone puts a gun to your head? There aren't 146 ways out of this. Good, because all we need is one. And the answer to this is to take that gun back and point it at her goddamn head. And I'm telling you, Faye isn't like anyone else. We can't just blackmail her. She won't fold. Well, then we have to make her think that if she hands us in, they're going to believe us, not her. Meaning? Harvey, you and I conned the world for years. I think it's time for one last con. I'm here now. What is it? You know what it is. You saw what happened today. And if you're about to suggest I drop this thing... I'm about to tell you I saw Lewis, and they're not going to back down. Then bring on tomorrow, because all they have is hearsay. And that doesn't mean you won't lose. Now, Samantha, you don't have any more cards to play. And Mike said the exact same thing an hour after court. Then listen to him, because that boy has never waved the white flag in his life. Oh, yes, he has. He was a fraud who went on trial knowing he was guilty, but he still fought tooth and nail until he lost faith in himself. The second he did that, that's when he went to prison. Well, this is not the same as that. You're right. They had him dead to rights, but they don't have us. Oh, they've got us all right, and it's a lot worse than you think. What are you talking about? Harvey cut a deal with Faye. They beat us fair and square. She tells the bar they don't need oversight anymore, and she leaves you alone. But now she's coming after your license anyway. Then all that's left for us to do is win. That's not going to happen. She subpoenaed Harvey to testify tomorrow. <laughs> then why the hell did you just waltz in here like it's a Sunday afternoon? Because what you're saying is, win or lose, we're screwed. No, we're not, Samantha. She is. Because Harvey taught me what to do when your back's up against the wall. You break the goddamn thing down. And I'm guessing you have the keys to the bulldozer? Yes, I do. They called Harvey? I think it's time we call a witness of our own. You've got to be kidding me. 
Harvey sends you here to get me to save him when he hasn't even apologized to me. Katrina, he sent me here because he felt like shit about how he treated you. He wanted to come himself, and I insisted it be me. Why? Because you knew he wasn't really sorry? Because this isn't just to help him. It's to help all of us. And it's one thing for me to bluff that I'm going to lie on the stand. You're asking me to out and out participate in an extortion scheme. No, I'm not. No one has to know you were in on it. She'll know. And I'll know. And I'm not doing it. Katrina. Enough bullshit, Alex. I'd still have a job if Harvey had shown me the respect to tell me about that deal. So if you can't be straight with me about this, you can get the hell out. All right. No bullshit. It's extortion. And if you don't want to, we can try to find another way. But Faye is the one who fired you, not Harvey. You know in your heart he's sorry about what he did. And all I'm really asking you is to speak your goddamn mind. What's going on here? This was supposed to be between me and you. No, Faye, this is between you and the firm. And Harvey's not doing anything without all of us here to witness it. So you're gonna sign that agreement and you're gonna pack your bags and I never wanna see you again. I'm not packing anything until the jury returns a verdict. So let's sign this thing and get it over with because you have some testimony to prepare. Give it to Gretchen. Okay. Everything looks in order? The hell it does. Your lawyer tampered with my goddamn witness. Bullshit, I didn't tamper with anyone. You gonna say you didn't anonymously send Katrina the criminal code for perjury to intimidate her? God damn it! did you play dirty in my name? Because if you did, You I... won't do shit, Faye. All I did was stop her from testifying like you asked. You asked him to go to my witness? Don't you dare try to twist this. We're not twisting anything. And when you call Harvey to the stand, I'll ask one question. Did you tell him to shut down Katrina Bennett or not. And then we'll ask if you convince Katrina to perjure herself. You fucking coward. She's got you so wrapped around her finger. The fuck did you just say hey, to me? back the hell off my lawyer. I'm not backing off anything, least of all this little piece of shit. Enough! You lay another finger on anyone in my firm and you'll be up for assault charges. And if you two don't get out of here inside five seconds, I'm telling the judge you came in here to get a mistrial. You heard the woman, get the hell out. You know what? You people make me sick, and I can't wait to put you all behind me. Well, then don't wait, Faye. Get the hell out right now. Excuse me? He said you're done here. Because that document you just put your name to, Gretchen switched it on your ass during the fight. And it's now in order for Harvey to witness tamper by any means necessary. I get it. You think you set me up? No, Faye, we did set you up. Because first, you ordered Katrina to fire Samantha, and then, you ordered me to witness tamper. Well, I don't care what you had me sign. No one's gonna believe you didn't trick me. Well, we think they will, because Katrina came to see you last night, and there's a record of it in the lobby downstairs. And after she did, you went to see Harvey. And there's a record of that, too. And when I refused contact with Katrina, you called Gretchen into your office and had her send the criminal code to intimidate her out of testifying. <sighs> this is bullshit. It may be bullshit, but to a jury, it's gonna look like a hot fudge Sunday. Face it, it's over. You think you're going to bully me into something? I don't care if it costs me everything. I will never back down. Damn it, Faye! I said never. Then you'll end up in prison. And you wouldn't have done any of this if it weren't for him because he is a blight. He's a goddamn hero. OK, stop. Everybody, give me and Faye a minute alone. Honey, it's OK, Lewis. I got it. What are you gonna do now? Break my kneecaps? No, Faye. I'm gonna give you the thing you wanted since the day you got here, but not the way you wanted it. Wait, does that mean? The Faye's out, it sure as hell does. Holy shit, the firm's ours again. It is, Lewis. She's packing her shit as we speak. Well, then my first order of business is bringing you back. I second that, if for no other reason than for finally giving Harvey what he's always had coming. Speaking of which, you're supposed to pull your punches. I did. I can't help it if you're as weak-jawed as Mike. Oh, you taking shots at me now? That's what Harvey would do. She's right, I would. I feel that. Harvey, I gotta know. What did you do to get Faye to go? What do you mean, what did I do? I'm the best closer this city's ever seen. I closed. Seriously, Harvey, I gotta know. And I hate to tell you this, Lewis, but you never will. Harvey, come on. OK, you really want to know? I gave her boardwalk and park place. Oh, God damn it. Harvey, leave him alone. I want to say something. Faye's gone because we all risked everything for each other. It's what we've always done. And we do it for one reason. We love each other. 
And if that doesn't deserve drinks, I don't know what does. 